All right, welcome to another, this is a time lapse of a 24 by 44 salt box style garage and apartment. The apartment, you can see the plumbing here is gonna be on that side. It'll be 20 feet wide by 24 feet deep. And then the garage itself will be 24 by 24. You can see we thicken the perimeter and we're putting two inches of foam insulation under the entire slab. Foam insulation is somewhere around $42, $43 per sheet right now. We'll put plastic over all of that foam when we, uh, after we get it laid. This particular project is around $65,000 right now, as, what, as you see it, not including earthwork. It includes the formwork, uh, putting in the foam, the rebar, concrete, etc., plastic. All the way up through, and it'll be finished with uh, vinyl siding. This particular one had a shingled roof. Space that rebar two feet apart. Tie it all off with twist ties. We put, uh, typically we put cinder block underneath the rebar to get it up off the ground. You can see it there. The concrete is 3000 PSI concrete. I, forget, I think this was around 21 yards that we poured on this one. This was a rear discharge, so it okay. requires the use of another man to uh, run the chute. Typically with a front discharge, the, uh, the operator in the truck can spread it all for us. Power screed is uh, really levels that out pretty well for the starting point. You can see we're working around a drain right there, a floor drain. From the time we get it poured till we're power traveling, it's usually during the summer or warmer months, it's about three hours. Running the bowl float just to get that extra smoothness before we power trowel. Typically the power trowel will go over it three or four times depending on how quickly it hardens. This was a bigger slab so we had two power trowels going. Not sure what happened here, why we have the walls going up like that while I'm doing power troweling. Sorry about that. Let's start over. <laughs> okay, so we put these, we put sill seal on the bottom with a, of a pressure treated plate. Then we use anchor bolts, we drill and put in wedge anchors to secure it to the concrete. can see me drilling, oh, it's all gone. But uh, we drill those, put them in. OSB hasn't changed in a few weeks. Two by fours haven't changed in a few weeks. Plywood hasn't changed in a few weeks. It's all just still ridiculously high. See, we use a level to plumb all the walls before we sheath. So these are a storage truss. It's a salt box where it's 12-12 uh, pitch on the front, 5-12 on the back. 
Over the apartment, we went with regular trusses. They were not storage. On the garage side, we put a storage, storage part. Those are spaced two feet apart. We always put that first sheet of plywood on when, as soon as we can to help stabilize it. You can see the storage trusses there. They were, I think, around $250 each, the storage truss. Bird's eye view. The 5.8 CDX is still $55 a sheet as of today, uh, near the end of September. Uh, I'm sorry, end of January. Twenty twenty two. We use a synthetic roof wrap to uh, dry it all in. <laughs> the pet mascot. <laughs> You can see the apartment side uh, developing there. And there's the divider. Metal coil stock that we bend at the shop on a metal brake. Architectural shingles. It was a nice day for shingling. House wrap, that's somewhere around $80 a roll for a thousand square feet. Four inch overhang on the front, and we use perforated soffit. Slides right in there in a channel, works really well. The vinyl siding is around $100 a square per 100 square feet. Thermatrue fiberglass insulated door. Close to $400 now. Those blocks are for light fixtures. There's uh, one or two for outlets.
Those panels are installed so that they can actually slide just a little bit to allow for expansion contraction. One panel of vinyl insulating ins uh, vinyl siding will expand as much as an inch in a 12 foot section between hot and cold weather. We still have to put up handrails all around the sides and on the end. There we are, dividing the two sections. Um, can you show the top to me just a pinch? Yep. Sixteen foot wide, seven foot high garage door, insulated. And we are almost finished. We just have some loose ends to tighten up, then we've got to clean everything out. Just wanted to uh, explain what we have here. 24 by 44. Uh, it's an apartment on the left side. A garage on the right side. When we poured the this slab we had two inches of foam underneath to make it a, a really tight super insulated building when they're going to finish off the apartment. But we've got all the glass in, shingled roof is done. Let's go take a look inside. Come in. All right. Let's start over in this corner. You can see all the plumbing is roughed in. The bathroom will be, there'll be a wall here and it comes back here. There'll be a door here to come in. Shower there, toilet there, sink. This is the water supply. There'll be a washer dryer stackable unit over in this area. The rest of the room is going to be wide open. Let me just back up a little more. Lots of light so they can gain, get, the, get a good view as well. Beautiful mountain range over there. Uh, eight foot ceilings. This room, this big apartment, apartment is 20 feet wide, 24 feet deep. Go look in the garage. The door is mostly installed. We haven't finished putting the torsion springs up. Stairs, and <laughs> Chad, he's hiding around the corner. <laughs> and there's a floor drain in the center that we put in. It all slopes. Uh, before we had the roof on, it was, of course, raining, and it worked perfectly well. Let's go upstairs. Away we go. Just to give you an idea of the size, it's uh, finished off nine feet wide, 24 feet that away. You can, uh, I'm uh, five foot 10 or so, so I bumped my head there, but you can stand up across here. Excellent place for storage. We'll spin this around now. You can see the over the apartment are trusses. They, they wanted that so that they could get a good amount of insulation in there and just make that room really tight. I have my autographed plywood here. <laughs> I think I showed that on another video. 
in a hundred years from now, it'll be interesting to see what they had to say about it. So we just have to clean up, finish the garage door, and we're out of their hair. They can move in, do what they want.